While developing a smart building for the Oberlin College campus, William McDonough's design firm in Charlottesville drew inspiration from a visionary American architect, Thomas Jefferson, who designed this historic campus at the University of Virginia. The key thing to me with Jefferson is the, the idea of the process. He was constantly searching through his architecture and he was evolving it over time. He was making reference to classical systems classical architecture, but he was incorporating it in new ways of putting things together that were very inventive. The Environmental Studies Building at Oberlin combines Jeffersonian thinking with new energy producing technologies. NASA is a partner in the project, contributing state-of-the-art photovoltaics. In the industrial age, energy is sent to buildings from a power plant via an energy grid. Information age buildings integrate energy from various sources and manage it according to the needs of the buildings. They can even regenerate energy using fuel cells. So what we've been able to do is take the energy off of the photovoltaics during the day and store it in this regenerative fuel cell. And what that does is it creates hydrogen and oxygen. And then at night we're able to use the hydrogen and oxygen in the fuel cell to make electricity the Oberlin Building will become a net energy producer. This has profound implications for the way in which we buy and sell energy. Buildings sometimes will be energy receivers, sometimes energy producers, and they'll be, in a sense, a distributed resource. Already utilities are buying and selling over the internet. What this new web-based market in electricity prices lets us do is plug in photovoltaics or plug in other energy saving technologies that happen to work really well in the middle of the afternoon uh, when the sun is shining, making hay while the sun shines, and um, buy back their price at five times uh, the, the price on the utility spot market. For us as energy consultants, we're trying to help people move towards these environmentally sound technologies. The fundamental principle of the new communities that we're working on is that they should be self-sufficient from a perspective of energy. What that means is that, uh, in, in practice, is that the community becomes its own utility. By creating distributed sources of energy, green architects see a society that functions like an ecosystem, sensitive to local conditions and in tune with the great cycles of nature. It is a Jeffersonian vision for the 21st century.